<coughs> hey everyone, welcome to <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. It is a Sunday night podcast for collectors here on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. What is that? Yeah. That's Brandon again. Come on, guys. What are you guys doing? It's Brandon. I thought you were supposed to mute the mics. I, well, I muted his now. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys, a Sunday night podcast for collectors. We are here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and comment. You can find everything about the show at 5 idiotstalkingtoyscom You can also find our show on your favorite podcast app if you want to listen in the car or on the go. Thanks very much for tuning in with us. Let's bring the boys in tonight and see what we got. The boys are back in town. Oh, what? what? Um, boys are back in town. Did you guys hear that? What was it? it sounds, it sounds like a horrible singer. There they are. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, hey. What's up, fellas? I think we need a, uh, cool a, on, separate, a separate camera and microphone for Brandon's mustache. <laughs> that is thick, and that, that is, is gray. so thick. I just can't believe that you actually wear that seriously. I'm gonna throw up. I gotta turn. I just. Yeah. I'm the one to turn that like, on. I gotta turn that that's off. Re that's really. Thick. There's. There's I no way. This, I started this on Friday. <laughs> there's no way that 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 your wife likes that. She's gotten used to it. <laughs> she. <laughs> no way. She probably would rather have it on me since we you know went to the con and you know she wants me to look hideous trust me <laughs> god all right guys here we are sunday night our usual slot a lot of our usual vi 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 viewers are here what's going on in the collector hobby guys I am so sidetracked by all this hair. I know. All I see is this trying to bring it back to the middle here. All I see is this giant thick mustache shaking everywhere. I'm trying to bring us back to the middle of the road and yours you know, hey, yours yours looked really nice the other day. I saw it. Charles. What? Your your mustache. Your mustache. Oh really Mario? Nice. Yeah, he had the Mario mustache. Oh, you though. saw my Mario mustache? Yeah, it was good. Oh nice. <laughs> nice. Shouldn't so you shouldn't have like the, the guy topic. from Super Super Trooper or uh, was it uh, Reno Nine One One or whatever? What's the name? Reno Nine One One. So Shane, no, su what's Super Troopers? Topic? You're right. Is it Super Troopers? Super Troopers. Yeah, I love. Are them. you? Are you? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Officer Dangle or whatever. <laughs> so Shane, what's today's topic? What's today's topic? Guys, we're just doing a, a, a regular old-fashioned chat. Oh. For collectors, oh. Chris, what's going on with you? Any uh, any new collections coming in down the pike? Uh, Rogue Five Toys has been popping. What's kind of going on in your zone? Pike, 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 pike. Down the pike, the Pike Syndicate. Pike, 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 pike. pike. I um, got in a very large collection the other day. A guy drove down from the West Coast. He um, kind of turned it into a uh, like road trip with his family. Oh, wow. And he uh, drove to my house. Took him like three days, and then I think they went for this to the New York City for the night afterwards. And they were at my oh, house God. for about three, four hours. They stayed in your basement, right? They stayed in my basement. Yes, mm -hmm. they came to my house for about three or four hours. He brought this very large collection, went over everything, bought all of it. Pictures will be posted on Rogue Five, so stay tuned. Nice. And, Including um, the pictures, you bought all the, the kid pictures. Yeah, so yeah, I bought all the kid pictures. Yes, <laughs> and then not to mention that, but I've had I've had a lot of stuff coming in before that, and then after that got done, 
another guy is sending me out another collection after that with like a sand crawler and all this stuff. So oh. I have a lot of stuff coming in for the page. You're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of action on that air mattress in the basement. Like it's gonna see a lot of visitors. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, so a lot of the people that are watching, you know, some know, a lot of people don't know. If you uh, purchase something from Chris, if you sell a collection to Chris, uh, he has an open door policy to live in his basement for a period of time. It's a free night stay. Yeah, you get a one, a, a one right. free night stay. Right. So snuggle with Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. So exactly. he's not even exaggerating because I went over his house for this collection and that he has stuff all over the place. It's yeah, in the it's, kitchen. It's in the living room. It's in the dining room. It's everywhere. Oh There's vintage God. Star Wars everywhere. Oh I was actually using the God. bathroom. I had to go like number two. You know, sometimes you have to go. So I was sitting down in the shower. There's stuff stacked up. This mock, <laughs> vintage mocks. Yeah. It's ridiculous. My wife was yeah. like just wondering what was going on. She didn't know if this was real or not, that a guy would, you know, drive down from the West Coast and – she was just amazed by all this. I'm I'm blown away by the Charles poop particles that are all over those mocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, they're not they're not on the mocks, but I mean they're near it. They're all they're over those. You see, you're pooping adjacent. next to the mocks that were in the shower. Those poop. There was those a mocks lot, are full of poop. They have a lot of particles. <laughs> they're all joking adjacent. aside. All joking aside, <laughs> stuff is all over the place. It was literally in the living room, in the dining room, and all over the kitchen. Yes, it's crazy. Is is your wife yeah. you've been been lately completely questioning what she signed up for here or what? Uh, she's been questioning since day one. <laughs> 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 so yes, everything will be on Rogue Five. Uh, I would say sometime in June. Please stay tuned if you're interested in anything. Send me a message. Um, be active on the page. Stuff. Wait, wait, wait. So you want PMs? You want people bombarding you with PMs? Let me yes. just put that. Bombard me. Okay. Yes, bombard me. Um, okay. I want because <laughs> I make listings at all different times of the day. I'm with my kids. I don't really know what like what time of the day is ever going to be good. So I honestly just list stuff whenever I get a second. Do you so. do what John does and list and go to bed? Never. Mm -mm. Okay. And I want to throw it out there. I didn't. Uh, cherry pick anything because some people get like really butthurt and they mm -hmm. send me a message and they're like oh, hey they can you can you not cherry pick from your brother's stuff i didn't cherry pick anything you took all you took all the legos though <laughs> but and by <laughs> other are. by some people you mean brandon messages you that no yeah no you Just not cherry pick all random people stuff. and i'm sure they're joking but I really Who would have the goal to tell you what to do with your brother. <laughs> I want to know, I know unless I mean, they're really, really, truly joking. There's well, I know. Of I at think least they're probably people. joking, but I it's take, actually, all right. If they're joking, it's pretty funny. But I, I take know all Uncle, joke serious also. Uncle Victor is dying to come over my house right now to cherry pick. Oh my god, he has been messaging me day and night since it came in. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, retirement pension is eating a hole in his pocket. <laughs> I I got in. You're making me think. But you have stuff all over the house. I got it. I got a mock, and it was like a larger size piece, more modern piece. And I have stuff just piled up in the office behind me. Stuff ready for live sales. Blah blah blah. And I didn't want it on the floor. I didn't want it falling over. I put it on my dresser, my bedroom, for the very first time ever. I just, I just, I just want this somewhere safe, out of here until I make some room. Within ten minutes, my wife was like. Why is there a toy in the bedroom on the dresser? And I'm like, it's just there for, I just got to make room. She's like, no, no, no. You keep it in the room. Do not start migrating stuff out of the room anywhere else in the house. So I was like, yeah, okay. I put one in the bathroom and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm making this one the urinal variant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I is not you. I could picture Brandon like he's in the tub. Soap. Like a soap bubble bath. A rope. He's a soap on a rope guy. And he's holding like a Luke, like a Luke farm boy and like a Darth Vader. With, and he's playing with a cigar. Making sounds, with a cigar. Making sounds. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> well, yeah, I have a cigar in my hand too. Oh, you're, you like, uh, you're, you're like Chris Capone with the stogie. You, you have a mustache. You can't smoke cigars. 
Dude, your whole head will go in flames. His <laughs> <laughs> head burst into flames. Yeah, no, a Princess Leia mock is not the kind of toy that belongs in the bedroom. No. So I've learned that, and uh, we move on. John Walden. How John goes Walden's things here. in the South? Yeah, how's the store? The store's been uh, doing pretty well recently. It's been awesome. Um, I don't have the same problem because we get stuff shipped to the house all the time. Mm. So we have stuff on the kitchen table. You know, well, that's okay because you have it. you have a store, so it's kind of yeah, like so I don't have that problem going to the store. <laughs> you know, everything's going to go to the store eventually, not just sit in your house. Right, exactly. Yeah. So you have sh you have stuff for the store shipped to your house. Yeah, yeah. What is because, that like? What's the what's the deal there? Well, we have a mail slot at our front door here at the shop. Well, that's not you shouldn't call them that. <laughs> so there's you know some packages. We don't want, you know, cram through the mail slot. Okay. Oh, at the store. You ever okay. seen? Yeah. You ever seen Beavis and Butthead do America when they talk about the, the, the slots? I don't. I, I don't remember it. Me either. No. It's remember. been a, it's it's been twenty years. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's the only the only part I remember about the movie is when they're talking about the slots. <laughs> <laughs> so much free time. This guy's got so much free time. <laughs> When you, I mean, you're a store though. Like whoever's delivering yeah. to you must know that it's a store. I mean, they they should have a way to deliver packages. No, no, not necessarily because the post office runs. Oh, because you have different kind of different hours, right? You you're not there yeah. nine to five necessarily. Okay. Yeah, and we're not open Monday, Monday or Tuesday. So John's open on Saturday from one to one forty five. <laughs> Why is why is John always burping and yeah, digesting? Yeah, such agita. It's I like ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it was a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're not <laughs> correct. I'm, I'm expecting him to. Th I can't wait till he throws up on camera. Well, I'm trying not to be like Brandon going. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Brandon. That's Brandon's mustache. Oh, it's Brandon's mustache is burping. Yeah. No, but um, the. The uh, the online stuff has started to take off too, so that's pretty cool. We had several orders today, nice. so uh, we're excited. Hey, did about you that. list those um, superpowers? Not yet. I still haven't done okay. that yet. We've been all right. You gotta yeah. let you gotta let me know when you list those. Yeah, I got to put those in individually, and then I got to take pictures and all that stuff. So, still if you collect something, Brandon will also collect something. Yes, right. <laughs> but uh, like today we had. Uh, today is Sunday, so we had several uh, sales today online, and that was that was Correct. pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Nice. You're gonna have to start hiring a, a shipping department. Yeah, probably not anytime soon. It's probably just gonna <laughs> it'd be more cost effective for us to do it right now. Yes, for sure. Yes. All right, Charles, what's up in Legoland? Oh, he's frozen, guys. God. <laughs> <laughs> um lego i'm Dark just buying side. stuff still. i have so much stuff i'm gonna sell one day i just haven't i don't know when Wh what is your plan you're gonna sell on rogue five no they're gonna sell on whatnot yeah because you i mean you do have to find the right audience for stuff um yeah, and course we have an audience that there are probably quite a few people that collect modern, but pretty much everybody in there collects vintage. And so that's the main audience there, you know, but I had a few sales on rogue five and it's kind of like annoying cause you, everybody wants photos obviously. So yeah. I got to take like 20 photos of these like little things and I send them. It's just like a lot of like, a lot of like messages like back and forth and it's a mm -hmm. lot of work for something like that for like whatnot like you have the camera focused on one figure and someone just writes in dollar three dollars four dollars five dollars sold and it's like yeah. so fast i was thinking that, uh, about that the other night uh because the you know the pace of the live sale on facebook is is so slow no matter how fast you try to be i mean there's some people that really really try hard at 
putting you know a, a one minute clock as soon as the f the figure or the item is on the camera and it's still you can only you know go so fast and then you see whatnot and oh my god it's just like you know 20 seconds 30 seconds go and you know there's some inherent risk there because maybe nobody bids on it but uh all of a sudden there's some items where there's like 15 people bidding and the price skyrockets sure. you can get through a lot of stuff there it keeps track of everything for you so when you're new easy. like you're not going to start your auctions at one dollar like right. if you have a a complete like neon i don't know, like neon numb like you're going to start it at 18 dollars or start it mm -hmm. at 20 dollars if it sells it sells you know maybe you know three or four people bid on it you know maybe no one bids you just move on move yeah. on to the next one so you don't have to start at a dollar when you're new, starting at a dollar. So uh, what I look for is I hop onto whatnot. I find like a newer seller who I haven't seen before, and he's doing one dollar starts. You'll you're gonna get stuff for so cheap because yeah. no one's bidding on it. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen vintage vintage Star Wars sellers with eight people in the sale. Yeah, and they're st and they're, and they're selling stuff like pretty you know the decent stuff. And you're just like, oh man, I, you know, as a as somebody who's not really buying, I'm just watching. I feel bad for the guy because it's like, there's, there's no chance of success. He's got nobody in here. At that point, he mm -hmm. should just cut the sale and just get off. Yeah, yeah. So, but I did that did creep into my head recently. Like, oh man, maybe I maybe I should give whatnot a shot at some point. So um, you can but, also do Vintage Star Wars first. on whatnot. Yeah, and you I'm not I'm not going to be doing it to build up a following. Like, I'm not going to go that far. So it's going to probably not be great. You can also do your first sale as just have like a sign, like uh, some people like make a sign and they just say, look at my buy it now, make me an offer. And you don't have to say anything. You just sit oh. back <laughs> and just load your buy it now with there's all your stuff and just, mm -hmm. you know, someone will throw an offer. Maybe, you know, like maybe no one does. You just hang out. You don't even have to talk. Yeah. A lot that's of people a, do it, that also. That's a I lot saw of work, guy though, recently, uh, uh, He's in one of the groups on Facebook too. He was just astonished at how many people were on his page not bidding and stuff was going for pretty cheap. That was vintage Star Wars stuff. On whatnot? So yeah. I mean he had like garbage, but nothing special. But he was just like, Really? A claw two for four dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I've I've. I was been like, on... yeah, Klaatu, four dollars. Nobody cares about Klaatu. Was it complete? No. Oh, so who cares? It's four dollars. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, I'll tell you, people. No, no, he had some complete figures too, and people were just, I don't know. It was. Uh, he said he's never seen so little participation in a whatnot sale before, and and stuff was going cheap. But he didn't have anything that was that great. You know, I didn't bid on anything because it wasn't anything that great. But it was uh, stuff was going for pretty cheap. But it was just the common stuff, and there was yeah. like literally eight it fluctuated from eight to fifteen people. And he was he's a pretty big whatnot guy. Uh, but he's also in a local group as well that we all know about. And uh, does he have a YouTube channel? Uh, false. Yeah. So what I see is a lot of the whatnot sellers who have a YouTube channel, they have like a hundred people. They have hundreds of people like watching their sales because they like link off of like YouTube and then they say like, Hey, I'm going to have a whatnot sale like next week. And some of these guys, like they have like, hundreds of people and they're all just like jumping over each other because the bid it's like ridiculous Jeez. i jumped on a, a sneaker sale uh because i have friends who collect sneakers i don't care about sneakers i don't know anything about sneakers but i just wanted to see what other areas of whatnot was like because i'm only really watching you know such a small segment of it it's so i said huge. what is it like when there's something <laughs> where you see like brandon's doing is like like who's here? There's no one back there. He's got dishes behind him. Uh, he's at the Tupperware. dish museum. Tupperware. Uh, <laughs> Tupperware. Um, so I went over there because I, I said, "What is it like when there are some really hot items that are new and hard to get? You know, some limited edition stuff." I was blown away at what is going on over there. I came across this guy, and he he stands like he doesn't sit down or he stands in front of the camera and he's got this giant room behind him boxes on boxes on boxes of stuff you don't even know what's behind him it's just this room full of stuff and i thought it was sneakers and it turns out he does sneakers and he does clothing also like he'll just pull out a, sw a sweater or a sweatshirt 
in the original bag, like like not yeah. even opened yet with yeah. the with the with the size sticker on it, and it'll be a name brand. It'll be like you know, like Bape or something, something so, like some so, name brand. Supreme. He won't even show you what it looks like. He'll just show you that the logo is on it, and you'll kind of yeah. tell. It yeah. looks like oh, it looks like it's blue, or maybe it's cream color. I can't. He'll just go, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, whatever brand. I don't know what brand is hot, so I don't want to embarrass myself right Supreme. now. Supreme. Supreme. He'll say Supreme sweatshirt, starting at blah blah blah, and he'll just yell, and it goes so fast I couldn't even follow what was going on, and there was like five hundred people in there, and then he hits the button like. He's doing a whole show like he's like a like like he's an influencer kind of guy, and he's just like smacking the keyboard to start the thing off, and the bidding is like twenty seconds, and it's it's moving so fast you can't even see the prices. That's how fast it is. He's probably All on of a sudden YouTube. a sweat a sweater shirt goes for a hundred and eighty nine dollars, and he started it at a dollar, <laughs> and then he'll go right to the next item, and he's every new item every three minutes. It, I couldn't even believe what was going on. I'm I'm sure that's very normal for for whatnot, but I was blown away. So uh, some of those sales are like my favorite. It's a kid. He's like 19 years old. He's walking through his room and he's just selling everything. Like he'll sell like a Darth Vader figure and then he'll like move over like near his closet. And he's like, does anyone want a like a Michael Jordan, like a jersey? And he's just like, they're just like walking around their room selling stuff. I love those sales. Those yeah, are the best. Maybe, maybe it's all staged where he just has like stuff hanging up and sitting around and it's awesome. It, they sell sneakers and shirts yeah. and then like a Star Wars figure and a comic. It's like all over the place. This guy that I was just telling you about would grab a box of sneakers out of a big giant brown box, grab a box and go blah, 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 blah. size, size women, six, whatever. And then he'll just flip the lid open, rip the tissue flying in the air, grab a sneaker, flip it up in the air, catch it on the top of the box and go go and smack the keyboard and everybody's going crazy and they'll be like so that he he grabs the sneaker opens the thing shoves it in and throws it like to the side of the room and goes and grabs the next thing it's crazy and people like totally understand what's going on except me i think i'm the only person that yeah, doesn't know what's going on sneakers are like a huge deal uh, yeah. th there's a new jordan that comes out every saturday at 10 a.m. if you go to the store most of the time on a you know on its release you don't get it no. you have to, you have to go hours in advance you still won't get it it you know it's that's just how his sneakers are so my friends get together, like we get together for poker night, and there's like three of them that collect sneakers, you know, as they like them, you know, or, you know, they're not, it's not every week, but if they like ones that are coming out, they keep track of what's coming out. Yeah, so do I. One of them shows up and they're like, did you see the uh, blah, blah, blah? And he's like, yeah, he's like, I was uh, waiting on there. I didn't get it. And then, the, did you see those other ones? Yeah, I got them. And they're like, holy crap, there was only, you know, whatever, 500 pairs or whatever. Like, how did you get those? He goes, just once or twice a year, I, I luck, I luck out, and I get, I get picked or whatever it is, and they're like freaking out over the fact that one guy got, you know, two hundred dollars. You have to, you have to be on your phone, on the apps, ready to go right when they release, and then they put you in a waiting room. You could be on your phone for forty-five minutes waiting to find out that you didn't get it. Yeah, and then even crazy. when you do get it, you only have a very short window to actually check out. And if you don't have all of your information ready, they boot you right out of that thing, and you yeah. waited forty five minutes for nothing. It's like it's like Ticketmaster. The old I don't know if Ticketmaster is still yeah. like that, but it used to be like you're it's in the queue and then you better be ready. Yeah, concert tickets. Yeah, um, I wish uh, Vintage Star Wars was like that. Yeah, boot you. You go in a queue and then you get booted out. One thing I one other thing I wanted to say about live there's sales in app. general. There's an app. There's an app where that happens. Is there? Yeah, you just get booted out after you pay your fees and use your coupons. Oh, that's true. Um, so one thing I was noticing on in the Facebook groups, people are generally pretty good with this because I think they just kind of copycat what they see other people doing before they start. But I've been watching some whatnot sales, and it's crazy to me how people go on there to sell vintage Star Wars is what I'm looking at, and they'll say. Oh my God, this figure is so beautiful. Look at this figure. It's mint. This is near mint, mint. And then they like just put the camera on it. And if you're a Star Wars collector, you can, you know what the figure yeah, looks like know. right away. You're like, oh my God, that is the biggest piece of crap. Missing paint, faded limbs, like everything that could be wrong with it. And they're selling it like it's perfect. And you just like, man, I just feel bad for the suckers that are watching this who don't know what they're doing yet. Because they're like going to. But that's still like half the Facebook groups, though. It's well, I was, I was saying like most people are 
decent with like they'll at least like really put it in the camera and go like now look over here look over there these guys are like oh look at this it's beautiful oh yeah look, this is great this is a near mint figure like i'm gonna put it on the table right now near, near mint and then and then people start bidding and you're like oh dear god it's like so you know, since starting rubbed off uh, since starting like lego they actually like tell the truth. So if like something is correct, I've never met so many people that lie. Like vintage Star Wars, everybody lies. Everything's mint. Everything is like unused. Uh, the weapon is hundred percent guaranteed. All of it's a lie. Yeah. Everyone lies. There, there's like so, so much lying, like in vintage Star Wars. I just, I don't get it. I never actually saw it until I switched to like some other line where they actually tell the truth. Yeah. I thought about that the other day, that if you were to start collecting turtles or transformers, I know G.I. Joe people are, you know, very, like, serious yeah. about that. But, like, other lines, like, you know, Mo2 or whatever, I bet you there's a whole different experience. It's got its own, you know, ups and downs. But, like, just the the atmosphere and, like, the, you know, the, the collectors who are involved in that line, it just probably feels different in a number of different ways that we don't even know about yet. Like, cause we're not, we're, we're just like casual. We're not seriously collecting, you know, the entire line of these toys. But Shane, I've I'm heard seriously that with, collecting. <laughs> well, you are with, with Lego, right? And I've heard that with other people like, oh my God, the Star Wars, the Star Wars uh, groups are this and that and the other thing. But yeah. if you go to this other type of group, every, you know, it's so much different. So I'm sure some, a lot of our viewers are, are in multiple, multiple lines and they know what that, that is. Yeah, right, you know, I just had a I just had a thought. You know, we we talk about the the waxing and waning of cheesy finger, Fromage digititis. Um, so we talk about the waxing the waxing and waning of the of the um, collection or collecting. You know, yeah. I wonder if people are just going to different avenues to collect instead of stay. You know, like for a while we had. The Facebook groups and now whatnot's become popular. I wonder if people are just moving on to whatnot and not buying in the groups as much anymore. Or I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Or going out going back out to stores and stuff and whatnot is like like really good for like small items like a Funko Pop or like a Lego or something small. It seems to like just sell really fast. Whenever I watch like a vintage Star Wars one, they have like a Clatu figure and it's like nineteen dollars for like a loose Clatu. Like n nobody's buying it. Yeah, no one's buying it. The that. thing, the thing with whatnot is that they charge you tax, and then um, the shipping is weird on it too. So I don't know. Like to me, it's like I don't think it's better than Facebook because Facebook and there's no tax and, and all that stuff. So um, for the seller, uh, for the seller though, it's really good because you're not liable for anything. They cover like mm. all your losses. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy about the shoe thing, though. Like, I'm so far out of the shoe game. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm telling you, if you I don't, I don't know what's going on, Brandon. Like, I can buy a pair of Jordans on a Saturday if I'm lucky enough to get it. It's let's just say for most of the time, it's 190 plus tax. So it, yeah. it equals out to be let's just say 208 taxed and shipped, whatever. I can literally go on the app that day. I don't even have the shoe in. I sell it for over three hundred bucks, three fifty. I wait for the shoe to come in, <laughs> and then I ship it out to like the guy or to Goat. Like if you use Goat, you yeah, ship I it mean, to like a third person, and that's just how and that's just how it is. It's like really. Yeah, I mean, it's the same way with everything. Like right now, you know, um, Carrie Fisher had a uh, her. Um, Hollywood star on the on the walk of whatever the, the yes. walk of fame or whatever and um, Mark Hamill was there and you know Mark Hamill signed some autographs afterwards out of his car oh, within wow. 24 hours all that stuff was on a Facebook page being sold right and people were you know making comments here and there but literally people were charging 800 to a thousand dollars for a Mark Hamill autograph which goes for five or six hundred because he doesn't sign anymore since 2017 at a con. He'll sign in public here and there. Um, and people are upcharging. It's the same thing with the sneakers. Like it's it's in demand. So people are going to be like, well, I got this guy's autograph. And it's mostly the, the guys that hunt autographs and wait in line and, 
and push around and and and, and harass these guys because they all got up out of his car he was like literally in his suv being driven somewhere and they were stopping out of a stoplight and he rolled down his window and he signed a bunch of autographs but they were like obviously flipping the autograph you know yeah, and course. charging 800 to a thousand dollars for an autograph that they just got um same thing with the shoes like it just came out on the market and they took the time to sit there and wait for 45 minutes just to make a couple hundred bucks on it i mean whatever you know i mean if you yeah. have the time to sit there and do that by all means like you know I, that's how some people make their money and how they make their living and that's fine so um but it's the same thing well going back if there was anything you ever had a wait in line for if you were somebody that you know the money didn't matter too much to you like you you you're you're comfortable you have money to spend um you know you'd have to go about trying to find that item like let's you know let's say you know an old you know one of the early pairs of jordans like let's say you couldn't get them or whatever or whenever they became hard to get you'd have to find somewhere to get them like get them on the black market what does that mean you're buying them out of somebody's guy some guy's trunk or something weird like now with technology if you have money i don't i don't want to speak for it because i'm not in the sneaker thing so i don't know if you know all sorts of people are on these apps trying to get in line and get that. Or if people who have money don't even bother, like who cares? I'm not going on that yeah. app at 1030. I'm just yeah. going to go on at one o'clock and buy them for 350 and not have to waste my day. Well, yeah, people do you that. Know? But what they also do is they have bots. So a lot oh, yeah. of times, like right now, people have bots. So like I'll try and get a sneaker. I, I used to get maybe two or three pairs a year. I don't think I even get one anymore because everybody has a bot. Yeah everyone does it now and the bots get everything yeah. so you know i may Same be like tickets i may be that guy that will just say forget about it i'm not wasting an hour of my life i'll spend the 350 on the shoe and yeah i mean it it's the same is. thing to to go hunt an autograph and wait in, in in the shadows and jump on mark hamill as he's driving away and like you spent all day doing that you know of course you're going to charge five or six hundred dollars for an autograph yeah because you waited all day doing that the other funny thing about that is that you know, with, with Star Wars figures and autographs and all that, that those kind of stay, you know, those figures have been around for 40 plus years. I owned a couple of pairs of Jordans and they didn't even last 20 years and they were disintegrating. Yeah. So I don't know how people sneaker market to me is kind of garbage because I had original pairs of Jordans that I bought when I was a kid. The soul like dry literally out. I took the, I, I took them out the other like when I was back home a couple of years ago. My mom handed me the box. I'm like, they were almost in the dust. Once you get I was to like, about, what is this junk? Once you get to about the eight year mark, they say wear at your own. It's like wear at your own risk. Yeah, because the soles dry out and they. Literally I can't believe it. Become brittle and they break apart. There I could be, not believe it. So I was there must like, be why, like so why are these shoes worth so much or climate controlled thing that but like, you don't? Yes, you, so well, you people know how to do those shoes. You don't wear, Brandon. The old shoes nobody wears. It's well, just, I have a pair of old, old Jordans. I have a pair, and they're cracking. I literally just, didn't even wear them. I'm just saying, though, people that have that, they don't do that yeah. to wear them. They're doing them to just collect like we do with figures, and you wrap them in like um, like an airtight cellophane. Yeah, you know, like how can you display something like it's so but that's but that's what you do. I'm just saying that people yeah. don't people don't wear the shoe, they just buy it to have the shoe. It's the same as an autograph. So I bought like, a couple pairs. That's the same thing. I don't get it. Mark Hamill yeah, signed the autograph. Piece of paper. There's cares. Like I don't get it. I don't get autographs. Shoes are highly fake too. Highly fake. Like Jordans. Oh my god. Like yeah, people think yeah. like like vintage Star Wars and like accessories. Sneakers are so fake. You would be very surprised when you guys go out just let's just say to a mall and you see people walking around wearing Jordans or Yeezys. I can guarantee you like one fourth of them are probably fake. I like the uh I'll come across like a TikTok every once ones. in a while where somebody's coming into cheaper. one of those stores to sell a pair and they have somebody behind the counter who like whips them out real quick. They're smelling every part of the yeah, yeah, They're yeah. flipping it open like this. They're looking at it. They're like, sorry, these are fake. And they're like, what? They're like, the it doesn't smell right. The this this is not bending properly. This is the wrong lace. The, like this probably what happened thing. to Brandon's. That's what happened to Brandon's. Yeah, they're, not they're not supposed to disintegrate. Of course, yours does because they're not real. So, like, <laughs> each and every shoe. I bought, I bought mine have, back in the 90s. I bought mine back in the 90s Jordans. from Foot Locker. You, are, you have Jordans. They're not he Jordans. has Jordan Alvarez's. <laughs> yeah. I bought, I bought Jordans from Foot Locker back in 1994. 
Right. Like there's there's been a few times where I've gotten in like a pair of Jordans from like a friend of a friend of a friend, or even if, if it was like on on eBay. Now you have to go on YouTube and type in that specific shoe, and each specific shoe will have a specific way to tell you if it's real or not, because there's certain things that they did to the shoe that I can't. Fake company. Doesn't I, can't, know. I can't do that. I can't it's do all, that. So who's like, well, who's the Thomas Fagan of sneakers? So Who's that's why this crap. No, well, so it's got to be a Thomas Fagan. That this like, is oh, yeah. Fake. It's it's called Yeezy. Knows right away. Yeah, his name is Yeezy Buster. Oh really? Yeah. What? Oh. His name is Yeezy Buster. He watches how many how many subs does he have? Hundreds of thousands, I think. But he has like all like celebs. Oh, I want somebody like with wear, a couple million. All the celebs <laughs> who wear like a, like a pair of shoes. He calls them out on like Instagram and goes. Justin Bieber wearing fake Jordans. Uh, this guy fake this, fake that. You know, good, uh, that, good for him. But that's why people who buy shoes like me, I go through Goat or StockX because when you buy a shoe, they yeah, ship the shoe to to StockX or to Goat. They verify it. Once they verify yeah. that the shoe is re like real, they ship it to you, and then they take the money and give it to the person. Yeah, but who's verifying? Mm. Is that guy there to verify? They have guys there is verifying. This like CAS, but, but we'll we'll want like, to sneak it's like the CAS. Here they have like yeah, but that, they have they have that guy's level. Have, oh god, they have authenticated fake repro accessories. Yes, that's what yes, I'm saying. Brandon, Do they have yes. scrubs there? Yes, people. Yeah. Yes, stuff falls through the crack all the time. They have a guy there that looks at all the shoes and authenticates them. His name is Justin Bieber. Correct. <laughs> he just oh, smells sorry. everyone. Please, John. Yes. Yes. John, John is so mad that I mentioned sneakers, and this is what it's turned into. No bother me. <laughs> I, I, John, let, tell me what you know. We're the two older guys, I guess. Here, mm -hmm. I've never owned a pair of Jordans in my life. Oh my god! Not because I don't like them. I just I couldn't get one when I was a kid. Like I wasn't allowed to get, you know, expensive sneakers like oh, that. Oh yeah. And then you know, like I just never got them over the years. Like I never, never had a pair of Jordans. I mean, I remember you know my dad saying very specifically when the Jordan ones came out, and that was probably what eighty seven. Love those eighty six, eighty seven. No, I think eighty seven. Yeah, eighty seven. No. And we went to Brett's no. shoe store, which is like a local shoe shop. No, and, oh, Brett's. Uh, yeah. yeah, we were getting. <laughs> he probably had not but. We went in there and they had some Jordans and I wanted to be cool, you know, and I wanted to get some Jordans and my dad, we're getting ready for, you know, buying school clothes and school shoes and stuff like that. And I remember my dad specifically saying, I'm not paying $69 for a pair of shoes. $69 for sneakers then was unheard of. Well, yeah, yeah like, probably. Unbelievably expensive. So I got ponies. <laughs> And I remember when the Jordans hit like a hundred dollars, which was not that far in. I don't know what you know yeah. what year that was, but I remember it being a big deal when everybody's saying like, you "Oh guys, my God, hundred dollar sneakers!" You guys need to watch that movie Air because it talks so about good. signing or Jordan it, yeah. uh, coming out in eighty four. The shoe was released. I want to say nineteen eighty five was the first eighty five. Okay, so it was oh, earlier than that. Yeah, I, I just watched it this past. Uh, this past week or so, it was a great. It was it was it was, it was a great movie. I like. Yeah, really good. I mean, great, I, won't great spend, I won't spend so more great. than fifty dollars. So if it's fifty dollars and one cent, I won't buy the pair of sneakers. I only so spend great. $50. It was on Amazon. It was on Amazon Prime Videos three weeks after airing in the theaters. It was and it was and, and it was a great movie. My friend saw it in the movie theater, and then he was so mad because a week later it was on Amazon Prime yeah. for free. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, maybe you need to uh, watch our videos. I don't crackle and slap the chip bag. I like reach for a chip. No one hears anything. Like maybe you hear the crunch. All we hear is you just slapping this thing around. You're like manhandling this bag of chips. Relax. My God. Is it late July? No. He the has he has cheese doodles, like Frito-Lay cheese doodles. If And that's like the top tier of what he's eating right now. Wait, let's he may say, even let's, have like freaking ShopRite brand or something. Let's go around. <laughs> let's go it. Better, show it. Cheese doodles there or we go. Cheetos? Cheetos. Cheetos. Oh my God, puffs! Yeah, Chester Cheetah. I, I am just, Cheetos I am, or cheese doodles? I am excited that you call them cheese doodles because nobody <laughs> calls it that anymore. Yeah, che I haven't had a cheese doodle. I think in a couple of years at least. Because Cheetos are so many years. Twenty years. 
Cheese doodles are in every supermarket. Cheese doodles have that blue bag, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like cheese doodles. I got to I got to do a taste test cuz cr- I like the crunchy ones. Crunchy versus the Do pops. it do it live on the on the page. Yeah, live. Yeah. Well, we need well ch- listen, Charles still wants us to start doing some food episodes. We could do some taste testings. We could uh we could have some fun with that. We're, I mean, we're frankly out of ideas here, guys. We oh, have we to, need wait. to start eating cheese doodles. Just remember, wait. Remember, and we have to eat dinner Expand. at the same time on video. Yeah, yeah. We have to start thinking of some some fun stuff. John, like that. John was like this years. Expand, expand. Now he's like he can barely even move his hands <laughs> away. Like they're stuck. He doesn't want to sp- expand at all. He's burping expand. as he's expanding. And that's right. That's why I'm burping because expand, he's expanding. Expand, he's expanding gas. You know what, John? From now on, we're doing one sneaker episode a month. <laughs> it's a new sneaker <laughs> podcast. So I get one <laughs> Sunday night off a month. I just like the conversation of collecting. Right? It's it's just yeah. a different collecting hobby. I like the to hearing about you know hearing about some of the ins and outs of of a different collecting uh, world, and uh, and then just I'm telling you guys for anybody who's watching, if you just if you're sitting on the couch and you just want to see something interesting, pop around on whatnot into the other categories. I was flipping through. I saw people buying antique radios that are going to get mailed through the mail, an eight pound antique radio. I'm like, what, what, what are we doing here? But it's everything and anything. You flip through these categories, you'll see some, some interesting stuff. And those fast moving sneaker categories will blow your mind just seeing how this stuff sells. Yeah. Log, All on, right, guys. log on there and look at shoes. Yeah, it, just to see how the frenzy, the frenzy that goes with the seller and the people that want the stuff. Uh, that's if you want to watch a that's frenzy. That's the alarm, folks. If you want to watch a frenzy, just watch Brandon just mowing these yeah. these it's, cheese puffs down. This bag had is so wrink it's so wrinkled. Look how many like marks are on. This guy's he, manhandling this he's, thing. He's going to need He's going to need to go on like oh a, God, a he ate all of them. Oh my that a boy. God. Atta boy. Like, he hasn't eaten dinner. He's gonna in three have to weeks. go on an IV drip after this episode. Yeah. He's gonna be so dehydrated with all of that salt, John, and fake cheese. This is this is a lot of work for you, and I know you won't do it. But I've seen uh, YouTube channels do this. They would have a count. If we can do a cheeto, <laughs> a cheeto count, to count every time he put one or two in his mouth. On the bottom left of the screen, it goes one, seven, nine, <laughs> five, nine. We got to be at a hundred. This guy's mowing them down like he's mowing a lawn. You know what? You know what I just heard, John. Yeah. I just heard Charles volunteering to edit this episode. I, <laughs> yeah, I did I too. Heard. It's going to be a lot of work for you, John. But here's what we should do. If yeah. I knew how to do it, I would have a Cheeto symbol on the bottom left and just go. You don't even have to say anything. One, ding, two, eight, ding, 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 ding. 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 We're we're way over a hundred. He was mowing these things down. He's manhandling. That's a family the Look at his fingers. Bag. Look at his fingers right now. That's that orange is not coming off until yeah, tomorrow. He's a professional yeah. mustache wearer too. And it's there gonna smell one all night. Spot of cheese on his mustache. Yeah, yeah it's gonna wow. smell all night. <laughs> that was a family size bag. That's a party size. Like if you have friends over. Brandon's mustache is in a party all by itself. <laughs> Brandon invited his mustache like, over, and the two of them annihilated a party-sized bag. Your wife's going to be like, God, did you not brush your teeth? And you're like, yeah, I brushed my teeth. It's my mustache. <laughs> she, oh, my God. She hates me right now. Oh, is that why you're drinking so much? Brandon, you just ate no. a family-sized <laughs> Cheetos bag in like 15 minutes. Is she with you, or is she back home? She's in the bed right now. She's with me. Oh, <laughs> that's why she's so pissed off. <laughs> We're gonna this this show is gonna be the reason that all of us are divorced in a few years. Oh, that's she's like, favorite. there's no way you're logging on. To, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. you logged on, and, and I was like, look, I, was, I said, look, listen, 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 they've been on for an hour by now. There's they're they're probably done. <laughs> so wrong so okay wrong. yeah we are done let's go all right guys that's gonna do it for <laughs> an episode that we just recorded of five idiots talking toys it's just called an episode 
It's an episode. An episode. Yeah. I'm That's going to do it for an garbage. episode. Episode and episode number. Yeah. That's it. Right. Che an episode in garbage. Cheesy episode. <laughs> an episode in garbage. Ooh, cheesy Folks, episode. thanks very much for watching another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. It's just fun to talk about collecting all over the place, the different apps that we have, you know, like Facebook and whatnot. Uh, where sellers can go and, and do live sales and post things. And, and and we're all just kind of watching and enjoying the collecting hobby. Thanks very much for being here. Please go to 5 idiotstalkingtoyscom to get all the links for our show, our merch shop, grab a hat, a t-shirt, support the show. Uh, also, you can go to rogue5toys.com and you can hang out with us there and collect with us. That's our sales page. There's five of us selling stuff on that page. Oh my goodness. Is there five? I sell stuff There's actually online. six. There's actually six because oh. we have the action figure grader with us. Oh. He's kind of hanging out and, and doing his thing, but he'll throw up some, hair some interesting stuff yeah, every now and then, like rated yeah. comics and weird modern clippings. stuff. It's so, great for nose those hair stuff. clippings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Th those sold so fast. I couldn't believe how fast somebody claimed his nose clear, nose, nose hair clippings. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. All right, guys. That's it for this show. We will be here again on Wednesday with our wins and whiffs and back on Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks very much for being here, and we'll see you next time on Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Shane. Cheeto. Thanks, Cheeto. Brandon's mustache. Cheetos puffs. Cheetos puffs. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs>